Actually, today my uh, oldest daughter Rosalie is behind the camera. Rosalie, can you uh, stick up your thumb for the camera? Yeah! Do you like car detailing? Subscribe We The Detailers and hit the bell icon and don't forget to watch all our awesome videos. So what's up everyone? Thanks again for tuning in on the Wheeler Detailers YouTube channel. My name is Martin and today we're going to talk about fly rust, actually about removing fly rust. As you can see, the rear of my Tesla is super, super, super dirty. And I know already from a previous uh, wash up that uh, I saw some uh, deposits on the paint that I would determine as uh, fly rust, so iron particles. And we're going to remove iron particles today with the Decon Light. So, first we're going to make some close-ups to let you see all the kind of debris that's on the rear of the car. Then we're going to give it a snow foam and a wash. And then we're going to focus on removing fly rust. Here you can see all the debris and the dirt and the particles that are on the car. There's a lot of sand, a lot of road grime. Some uh, large deposits here. Enough to do, as you can see. And let's start with the first step in the process. So, first step of the process is pre-washing. And a pre-wash I do with snow foam. In this case, I take the watermelon snow from, from Chemical Guys. I'm gonna foam it up. I'm gonna let it uh, sit for a couple of minutes. So the particles of sand and dust and road grime will release from the surface and will glide off safely in which my washing process that will come up next will go more safely. Here we go. So as you can see, nice and thick clinging snow foam. Here we go. How do you get this kind of snow foam? Uh, there is a one liter bottle under the foam lens and we're gonna first fill it up with, for half, so 500 ml of lukewarm water. Then we're gonna add 90, 90 milliliters of uh, watermelon snow foam. And then we're gonna fill it up until the max level, so approximately one liter with lukewarm water again. Shake the emulsion very well. Then put the foam lens on the bottle Make sure the valve is completely closed so no false air can be taken. And make sure you have a high pressure washer of a minimum 120 bars. So let's come a little bit closer with the camera again. Here we can see uh, snow foam uh, gliding off the surface. Releasing that dirt. And taking it here to the bottom. You can actually also see that the foam is not white anymore. It's like a little bit beige, grayish. And I'm 100% sure if we wait for a couple of minutes more, or here we can see it really well. Here the snow foam is completely gray. I'm gonna disconnect my foam lens with my uh, quick release adapter. And I'm gonna put in an MTM green spraying nozzle. This one. And with the MTM nozzle, I'm gonna uh, rinse off all the foam from the car. You can see it's a little bit uh, cleaner already. It's not good enough yet, yeah, but only from, let's say, a contactless wash up with watermelon snow foam. I would say not bad at all. And this is actually what a snow foam does as a pre-wash. Actually, today my uh, oldest daughter Rosalie is behind the camera. Rosalie, can you uh, stick up your thumb for the camera? So, Decon Light. It's a spray-on product. As you can also maybe see on the label, it will react with uh, iron particles and metal particles. And then, then it will change color to a red or purple. Standardly, the nozzles come with the, or the sprays come with the nozzles on uh, closed. So we have to put them on spray. By twisting them, you can see the blue fluid now being sprayed on the surface. And then we have to wait for one or two minutes to uh, 
see the first parts this color from bluish to kind of purplish a few minutes later so here we gonna go make some close-ups you can actually see here the first parts uh, turning into uh, purple and there's more from that on the rear of the car here we see it as well but there are like uh, tons of small uh, iron deposits on the rear of my car so where do these come from often from asphalt and roadworks fresh asphalt it uh, sticks on the rear of your car or on the lower parts of your car or in your wheel arches and uh, yeah this is what's making the paint rough so then when you wash it then you think hmm what do i see here or what do i feel here and this has to be uh, washed off with an iron remover as we do here today you see it very well so decon uh, light has uh, cured as we can see now we're gonna give it a wash and then we're gonna rinse it off and dry it and then uh, we're gonna show the end results as well uh, another thing is uh, what's the difference between decon light and decon v4 for your wheels so the raw material content in the decon v4 is much higher therefore it reacts much better with uh, places where there's a lot of metal particles like brake dust on your wheels so therefore the decon v4 is also a little bit different on price point than the decon light so this is a little bit lower eh, on raw material content and with that it's still very good suitable uh, for uh, de-ironizing the paint uh, or glass on your car or light oxidated wheels but you don't have that for me right so here we go let's give it a wash and then we're gonna rinse it off my buckets here we go So, rinse it off. Here we have the Chubby Supra Pink Microfiber Drying Towel. I'm gonna fold it a couple of times so it works better on this smaller surface. So, let's check with the camera a little bit closer to see if we have uh, washed off all of the deposits. So let's check the paint, here we go. No more rough spots anymore. No more iron deposits. It's all removed with the decon light cleaner and the ironizer. So decon light to sum it all up what does it do how to use it so i hope this video was all clear for you um, so decon light is a strong cleaner so first snow foam it make sure the most uh, uh, rough uh, particles are gone from the surface rinse it off spray on decon light let it cure for one or two minutes then you can see that uh, when the paint is rough and there is fly rust and metal deposits on your paint it will release from the surface then just easily wash it off with your uh, two bucket uh, washing method Rinse off and dry with your favorite drying towel and uh, off you go. Uh, one last note, uh, Decon Light is what we call a strong cleaner. So you will also feel it when you glide it with your finger, it will feel like uh, degreased. So if you have layers of protection on your car, so let's say uh, some coating or uh, polymer sealant for example, it will probably will be less after using Decon Light. So it's a strong cleaner and your layers of protection should be built off again after cleaning with Decon Light. So this is uh, my last three words on this uh, product. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't do it already, please uh, like and subscribe the Wheeler Detailers YouTube account. We are uh, hitting the thousand subscribers soon and you would really help us 
the sooner we can do it, the more of this kind of content we can make for you. So that's like uh, highly appreciated. And for the rest, I wish you a wonderful day and looking forward to seeing you again in the next video. Bye-bye, enjoy. Enjoy.